Okay, welcome back. As you can see, we have inverted the 2257 Chevy Bel Air. Why I wrote 2257 Chevy? I think because I kept forgetting. That's why I kept forgetting it wasn't 21. Okay, so as we can see, we are at the underside, and I am going to uh, make some styrene wedges to uh, support this base here. Um, and then I'm going to JB weld it. Uh, I thought I was going to do super glue, but A, super glue doesn't stick to this very well. And B, super glue in a big hunk can, uh, I think it gets a little warm or whatever. Anyhow, it'll warp styrene. So what I'm going to do is make some tabs that fit along this edge that A, provide a bridge gap, a bridge for the glue for the JB weld so it doesn't ooze down through. And uh, it will provide a platform so that there's something underneath of that gap when I go to fill it with uh, metal putt. So what I've done is I've scored this hunk of uh, styrene to make a couple strips and then I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these in kind of a wedge shape well into a triangle that way they don't uh, uh, interfere with each other in the back side. I'll show you what I mean here in a moment. these all along the bottom there like this and if they were just square they would have to do some overlapping if they if they had to make a curve like that so since these are triangles there's nothing back there to get in the way so start with these I'll lay down a fair amount of this even use a bigger brush. I don't want to get too heavy handed with this stuff, but I do need enough down there.
it takes care of that side. This side's a little bit worse. Ah. Uh -huh. 